As we reported earlier, this weekend marks the 30th anniversary of one of the most important historic events of the 20th century, the tearing down of the Berlin Wall. The East German dictatorship collapsed, and shortly afterwards, so did other totalitarian regimes across the former Soviet bloc. As the wall fell, so then did the Iron Curtain. But as special correspondent Malcolm Brabant reports from Berlin, Germany may have been politically reunified, but in many ways, it is still divided. 30 years after its demise, just a few hundred yards of the Berlin Wall remain as a reminder. The Berlin Wall was not only a separation between uh, the two city halves, it was a separation of Europe. As long as Berlin Wall was here, it did represent the di dictatorship. It made East Germany, the so-called German Democratic Republic, a huge prison. Nearly 2,000 people were killed by communist guards as they tried to breach the wall, erected in 1961 by the Soviet-led Eastern Bloc to protect their ideology from Western values. Alexandra Hildebrand runs the Checkpoint Charlie Museum, which honours the courage of people like this Czech family who crossed the Iron Curtain in a homemade hang glider. The wish of the people to be free is stronger as all the walls in the world. Former Soviet President Mikhail Gorbachev was a principal catalyst for change, with his policies of perestroika, meaning listen, and glasnost, meaning openness. In the autumn of 1989, Gorbachev visited East Germany and urged its hardline leaders to reform. Anti-government demonstrations intensified, offering hope to East German historian Stefan Voller, frustrated by his inability to travel outside the communist bloc. In the autumn of 89, we first of all wanted freedom. And the fall of the wall was a surprise that took place faster than most of us had expected. My heart was, was beating faster and I thought, is this true? This is madness. Oliver Berle became a history maker 30 years ago. A former tank commander and foreign ministry official, Berlo's exuberance and that of tens of thousands of East Berliners fashioned one of the most important events of the 20th century. All of a sudden, I, I, people said, hey, do you want to climb up? And hands stretched out and I was giving a leg up and I was standing on top of the wall. And I thought, I, this, is, this is impossible, this can't be happening. And I jumped down on the other side of the wall and said, I'm standing in the West, I'm in the West. This photo was done by the Stasi when I became a prisoner. Vera Lengsfeld's credentials as an East German human rights activist helped her become a lawmaker in Angela Merkel's centre-right party after unification. I know of nobody who thought that it might be able to get rid of the wall and to get rid of the socialist system. So it was a victory of which we had never dreamt. To reinforce that victory, Western consumerism has engulfed Checkpoint Charlie, once a tense frontier crossing in the no-man's land of mutually assured destruction, now an essential stop on the selfie bucket list. The Berlin Wall may have been a symbol of dictatorship, of repression, of communism, the antithesis of democracy, but for the West it also represented certainty because it defined global divisions. For sure, during the Cold War, the world was easier. Everything was related to the conflict with the Soviet Union, and sometimes that didn't actually make sense. Peter Neumann was born and raised in Bavaria, in what was West Germany, and lectures on security, terrorism and war studies. The West supported the Mujahideen in Afghanistan because they were fighting against the Soviet Union, but by doing that, we inadvertently created the people who are now fighting us as jihadists. We didn't realize that at the time because our only thought pattern, our only way of conceptualizing these conflicts was in terms of the Cold War. So whilst it was easier, that doesn't mean it was always correct. In common with other experts, Neumann doesn't believe the reunification of Germany has been a total success. The East German economy was moribund and many of its labor-intensive industries collapsed once exposed to free market forces. Author Peter Schneider has documented the changing fortunes of his home city, Berlin. I had thought it would take one generation 
to unify the Germans, it would be more than two generations. People around 50, if they left their job, they had no chance to find another one. And their kids saw that. Many of them see the unification as an act of imperialism. And suddenly, an enormous amount of people lost their jobs. And naturally, they were disappointed about it and said, so this is unification? What good are freedom and democracy if I have no job and cannot buy any of the nice things I always wanted? Successive German governments have spent heavily in the former East to try to raise living standards. But Peter Neumann says financial investment alone can't counter divisions in outlook. East Germany never really confronted Germany's past. In Western Germany, we were from the very beginning taught that we inherited the legacy of Nazism and that we had to make up for it. Whereas in East Germany, people were being told, you are actually the successors of the people that the Nazis fought against. You are the successors of the communists. So there's nothing you have to atone for. Anti-Semitism resurfaced last month in Halle, the birthplace of composer George Frederick Handel. Close to his statue in this eastern city, mourners honored two people shot dead by a neo-Nazi after he failed to enter the city's synagogue on Yom Kippur, the holiest day in the Jewish calendar. With our history, it's like a shame that now things like this can happen. At the synagogue, community leader Max Provorowski feared Germany may no longer be a place that Jews can call home. We have problem in Germany and uh, I think it's not a question to Jewish community, it's a question to political. It's very important that uh, governments in all countries find the special medicine. It isn't just Jews who feel under threat from the hard right. Richard Kamis came from Sudan 35 years ago to study at Leipzig's Karl Marx University. Kamis was here when the wall fell and settled in what he thought was a welcoming country. Now he's too scared to go out at night. They um, insult you simply because you are black. People are being beaten up, chased from places. You, as a black man, you can hardly go to a pub on your own to have a pint of beer because you're just so scared. You know, um, you don't know what will take, what would happen to you. Kamis says attitudes changed in 2015 after Chancellor Angela Merkel threw open Germany's borders to more than a million migrants. Please follow me. The influx appalled Merkel's former ally, Vera Lengsfeld. Too many of them detest Western way of life. They don't respect democracy and its rules. They don't respect uh, the women's rights. <laughs> I fear this will, in the long run, destabilize our society. Mass migration has fueled the rise of the right-wing AFD, or Alternative for Germany party, in the East where many felt like second-class citizens after unification. The AFD's European Affairs spokesman is Hugh Bronson. Is the party's anti-immigrant stance responsible for inflaming racism? I don't think it's true. Um, we are just taking the worries of the people. Uh, we take them seriously and respond to that. You can't even discuss issues about immigration in parliaments. Uh, immediately you are branded a racist, and this is a very... Uh, unfair situation, just asking how much can this country accept, how much can we take in. But after the fall of the wall, international borders lost their aura of permanence. The lesson is that there exists no wall which stays forever. The lesson is that everyone, every person in all the world can be free, must be free. But if the wall's spectre means that East and West Germans won't fully embrace for at least another generation, then immigrants have their own iron curtain to negotiate before this complex nation accepts them, if indeed it ever will. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Malcolm Brabant in Berlin.